This is an entirely different engine. This is made from scratch by one of the best and brightest steam people, a fellow named Jim Tangeman out of uh, Orland, California, and uh, who moved from Orland down to Oroville late in life. And he made this to be a, a boat engine. And this engine on a dynamometer turned out three and one half horsepower. We tend to think of steam engines as being large, bulk, bulky, slow, heavy. And most people cannot imagine getting three and a half horsepower out of an engine with basically a one inch bore and a one inch stroke. Jim was able to do this by making a uniflow engine, double acting. The valve is a regular slide valve here, but he made the slide valve, the piston, and the rings all out of carbon. And this used very high, over a thousand degree steam, over a thousand PSI, uh, and it worked very, very well right up into, until the, the carbon rings broke. It quit working. Jim didn't take it apart to see. We took it apart and you could see that the rings were broken into three pieces, which then uh, it lost all compression and then it stopped. But in the meantime, it worked quite well. What we have here Instead of a Stephen reversing link, this is referred to as a sliding eccentric. That, as you can see, changes the timing by sliding this lever back and forth and changes the timing so this will go forward or backwards depending on this lever. Does not need a gearbox, doesn't need a clutch, doesn't need anything. You just go back and forth with this. And here again, the fact that it works is the miracle. Obviously, a person could take something like this, study it, make it larger, make it smaller, make it lighter, make it faster, but it is a good place to start to have a really good steam engine. The fact that you can make a, take an engine of this size, obviously it could be lightened up a great deal. It has much heavier steel parts and castings than it needs to have to operate because all the power is generated in this little cylinder here and this little valve chest there. And uh, a person could make a reliable, uh, very interesting uh, little steam engine. And just to develop it a little more is, is all that's needed. And it's a lot easier to believe that these things work when you see one that has worked and when you can actually move all the moving parts and then you understand how these things go.